Now I want to talk for a minute about this whole idea of using this motor driver for the power source for this electric motor. The red motor needs to have a battery power. It could be this battery directly into the motor or it could be a battery like this one. But it needs to have more power than what the microvet can produce. And these motor drivers have holes that match the Lego Technic part, and that in turn matches the base plate. The problem is these pins that hold the board onto the beam here will obstruct the beam from seating all the way on the base plate. So we need something like this piece, a brick to hold the beam a little bit off the base plate so that it will connect. Now we can turn this on, just run power directly, and we can operate our LED lights. I went ahead and added more copper around the edges so that it stays in contact, although it's flickering a lot. There should be a better way to have more constant pressure like that rather than this flickering. We'll have to work on that. It's the same thing with the um, ground underneath the, the ring. I'm also going to modify this ring and reprint it so that it has holes here. If we had four holes, then we could put an object directly on the ring. So we'll be looking into that also. There will be more. Okay, you can see now that we've added holes to the center of the gear so we can put pins in the center. We don't have that on these other gears. So now we're going to be able to mount objects in the middle of the gear. I kind of messed up the center hole on this, so I'll have to rewrite the file, and then I'll put the, a link to the file on this video after I get that file remade. But this will work now that we can spin a gear like we have here and have objects mounted on the top in the center with our light source or other electrical components that will spin.